One of the most fun and interesting decks that I've played in recent memory, it has to be this Chimera Plunder Patrol deck. If you guys haven't checked out the deck profile already, I highly recommend doing so, so you have a better idea of why we're playing certain cards and sort of the basic idea behind this deck. But in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showcasing some of the test hands and combos that you can do with this strategy and showing how it can actually be a very powerful strategy that has a lot of potential in this format. All right, so finishing shuffling up and getting into our very first going first test hand, we are going to open up things with a Whitebeard, Black Eyes, Cornfield, Gazelle, and a Cornfield. So this is a perfect example of a hand where you do have access to both the Illusion Engine and the Plunder Patrol Engine. So what we're gonna actually do here is gonna seem a little weird, but we want to be careful about how we actually use like our play starters, like a Birth from it or Whitebeard, because both of them lock us into something, and we want to be wary of that while playing the deck. So what we're going to do is start with the copy of Cornfield Kotal. And then this is going to seem kind of weird, but I think what we're going to do here is actually just go ahead and add Big Wing Burfamit. That's going to seem really weird because we're not going through the Mirror Swords line man combo in this line specifically. Since we have Gazelle in our hand, we can normal summon the Gazelle and add Chimera Fusion right away. And then essentially what this is going to do is let us uh, fuse away with the Whitebeard on our turn and then this can be a fusion fodder on our opponent's turn so in reality this could have been anything that you add off cornfield kotal but in this hand specifically i want to go and activate the chimera fusion to fuse away uh, these two for a copy of chimera the king of phantom beast because whitebeard is in fact a fiend monster so we can still do that and this gets us access to our opponent patrol engine so what we're going to do here next is activate the effects of Whitebeard Chain Link 1, Gazelle Chain Link 2, and Chimera Chain Link 3. We're going to trigger Gazelle to add any Illusion Monster from our deck to our hand. So that's going to be a copy of Mirror Swords Knight. And then we're going to activate Whitebeard to Special Summon out any Planet Patrol from our deck. The reason we want Bluebeard in this case is because we actually want to get the Mirror Swords Knight out of our hand to have a negation in the graveyard. And that's sort of where you can bridge the engines together, even if you don't start with Mirror Swords Knight. So we're going to activate the Chimera Fusion next to add itself back since we do control a Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts while it's on the board. And then we can activate the Black Eyes effect to target the Whitebeard, add it back to our hand. And then from here, very simply, what we can do is just link these two away for a copy of Blackbeard. That's going to trigger the effect of Bluebeard to discard one and draw one. So we're just going to discard the Mirror Swords Knight and draw a random card now. On our opponent's turn, what we have is we already ripped one from their hand, we have a monster negation, and we have Cornfield Kotal to protect us from targeting on our Blackbeard. So for example, your opponent can't go and infinite impermanence our Blackbeard because we have Cornfield to protect it. We can use Blackbeard next, tag itself out into one of our ships, uh, get the ship effect by discarding like Whitebeard or something, and then we can activate Chimera Fusion also to make a copy of Guardian Chimera or a copy of Magnum the Reliever on our opponent's turn, just as additional disruption. So you can see how the two engines sort of pair really well together. All right, so finishing shuffling up for our second test hand. Now let's see what we can actually do. We're gonna start things off with a Gazelle, Whitebeard, Cornfield, Bluebeard, and a Redbeard. So this hand is also pretty solid because we do have access to our Chimera engine. The unfortunate thing though is that we do have a few too many normal summons since we don't have access to our uh, golden hair usually that's the best extender to get us from our normal summon chimera engine into our planet patrol engine but this end is still workable because what we can do is normal summon the gazelle and activate gazelle effect to add us a copy of our chimera fusion from our deck to our hand so you're going to notice we love normal summoning Gazelle in this deck because Gazelle is that beast monster that we're lacking in the Plunder Patrol engine. Uh, so we actually can bridge into the Chimera engine with just like Gazelle and some Plunder Patrol cards. You may as well activate the Cornfield uh, effect here to just add us a Mirror Swords Knight directly from our deck to our hand just to get into the Graveyard early. And then later on when we resolve Bluebeard, we're going to be discarding the Mirror Swords Knight to get into the Grave as well. So we're going to activate the Chimera Fusion next, fusing away the Whitebeard and the Gazelle for a copy of Chimera, the King of Phantom Beast. That's gonna trigger the effect of both Whitebeard and Gazelle and Chimera. And then from here, we're gonna rip one from our opponent's hand during the end phase. We're gonna activate the Whitebeard to summon one from deck, and then we're gonna activate the Gazelle to add any illusion monster from our deck to our hand. So we're gonna just end up summoning out a copy of Golden Hair. So this is the last one that we actually don't have access to. And it is a tuner, which is very good because we wanna go into Yord Place. And that's going to resolve Gazelle to add a Cornfield Kotal from our deck to our hand. 
So you're gonna notice we're not going for big wing bird from it a lot. And the times truthfully that you go for big wing bird from it are when you only have access to your Chimera engine because it plays very well on its own and so does the Plunder Patrol engine if you don't open any of the Chimera engine. So the thing with this deck is you can play with one engine or the other, but in these specific hands where you open both of the engine, I just want to showcase like some of the plays that you can actually do because they're incredibly strong. So we're going to special summon out the Golden Hair and then special summon out the Bluebeard since we control a Plunder Patrol monster. And then from here, what we're going to do is uh, synchro these away for a copy of Yord. That's going to trigger the Bluebeard effect to discard one and draw one. We're going to discard the Mirror Swords Knight and draw us a random card, which is a non-engine, which is great. Next up, we're going to activate Yord to add any Plunder Patrol from our graveyard back to our hand and then put it in the Pendulum Scale. So let's add Whitebeard back because it's the best uh, form of discard fodder. Put it in the Pendulum Scale. And then before I forget, probably want a Chimera Fusion before you play into a card like Nibiru, just so you have access to this on your opponent's turn for like a Guardian Chimera or something. So once Plunder Patrol Ship Yord is in the scale, we can return it to the extra deck and give both sides of the board a token. And we're just gonna make the token a light monster. So because that's the best one uh, fusion monster for us to actually summon. And then from here, we're going to activate the effect of Golden Hair next. And I think Golden Hair specifically should be discarding Redbeard in this case, because Whitebeard is just the best discard fodder in this deck for your Plunder Patrol monsters. Special Summoner out, and then just link the two away for a copy of Blackbeard. Blackbeard is going to target itself and the token to Special Summon out your Plunder Patrol ship list, since your opponent does now control a Light Monster. And then we're going to get additional draw from Blackbeard as well for another Chimera Fusion, which is pretty nice since this card is actually not once per turn to fuse, so we can fuse into multiple bodies on our opponent's turn. Before we end off our turn, we're going to activate a list to special summon out the Blackbeard, set our non-engine cards, and this is an incredibly strong first turn board for the Chimera deck because our opponent's going to be starting with 5 cards, uh, we have a Monster Negate in Mirror Swords Knight, we have Targeting Protection in Cornfield, we have a Monster Negate in Plunder Patrol Lists, we have a potential other disruption with Blackbeard turning itself into any other attribute our opponent might have. We have double fusions that can go into multiple different things. So probably the first fusion we're going to go through after we burn through, let's say, our Mirror Swords Knight interruption and potentially our Cornfield interruption would be to fuse away the Chimera and the uh, Cornfield for a copy of Magnum the Reliever. And then you have the option to trigger Magnum the Reliever whenever with your Blackbeard the captain or with chimera's effect in the graveyard to bring back any one of like the plunders in the grave which is actually really cool because what you can do is you just go activate the chimera effect to summon back a red beard from the graveyard that's going to trigger the magnum to banish one and pop one and then from here we're going to have red beard on the board which also takes out into another plun plunder patrol monster which is incredibly strong in addition to blackbeard so what we have access to then is two more Plunder Patrol ships with the uh, Blackbeard and the Redbeard. And that's not even to mention, if things go horribly, horribly wrong, we still have access to Guardian Chimera with the other Chimera fusions. So we're just in a, such a great spot with this end board. And there's a bunch of layers of disruption as well, which means a single card like Dark Ruler No More isn't also going to just completely destroy us and obliterate our board. That's gonna do it for the test end video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. I personally do feel like this is a really cool deck that has some very neat synergies with each other. And even if you don't see one engine or the other, the other engine in the deck is very much able to play on its own and still put up a very strong board in their own right. So even if you don't see one engine or the other, like I mentioned, you're still going to be able to play the deck pretty well. But the best part of the deck occurs when you have both engines together. But with all that being said, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.